last Sunday was a lovely day here in New York. Kingfish, Sapphire, and the Kingfish's mother-in-law decide to take a little Sunday drive. Crazy idea, going driving on Sunday. She's liable to kill ourselves. George, we are all going to have a lovely time. Well, where's the old rhinoceros anyway? Mama wanted to bundle up good, George. She caught cold last night. Well, uh, that's what you get by sleep with a transformation on the bedpost. That knob must really chill up the cold nights. You be quiet, George. Here comes Mama now. Where does she think we are going? Admiral Byrd went to the North Pole with less equipment than that. Never mind, honey. I'll get in on George's side. All right. Open the door, George. All right. George, must you always act so silly? <laughs> well, where will we go? Uh, Long Island is always nice this time of year out on the Merrick Parkway. Mm. Connecticut is much nicer. We'll go up the Boston Post Road and drive on up to Greenwich. Uh, Greenwich nothing. We going to Long Island. We're going to Greenwich. Listen, Mama, this is my car, and I am the one that's at the wheel. And I am the one that's going to drive where I please. We are going to Long Island. Greenwich. Long Island, and that's that. Here for. This looks like a good place to eat. You can always tell a good place where the buses stop. Uh, now, wait a minute, Mama. This is where we're going to eat. Come on, George. so crowded. Oh, well, what you complain about, Baldy? You the one insisted on stopping here. Well, it's raining something to me, Kingfish. 
If this is such a gold mine and all that, why is the man so anxious to sell out the business? Well, I done talked to the man on the phone, and he's getting along in years. He want to retire and go down to Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, getting a little too decrepit to run the diner, huh? Yeah, but where is we going to get the money? Besides the 500, we're going to need money to stack up the place and everything. Oh, it's simple, Andy. I figured we'd go down to the bank and borrow the money. But remember, Andy, we got to handle them with kid gloves down there. Yeah. Too bad we ain't a bankrupt company. And that way we could get the money from the government. <laughs> Yes, sir, Mr. Bromley, uh, me and my partner here, uh, Mr. Brown, is figuring on taking over the diner the first of the week. And we come here to make the necessary fiduciary arrangement. Mm -hmm. Well, you seem to have a legitimate business venture here. Let me get you an application. Oh, yeah, everything legitimate about it. I, uh, I suppose you've been in the restaurant business. Well, uh, you see, we just, uh, oh, uh, what did you say? Oh, yes, we've been in a long time. Well, just fill out this application. Yeah, I'll make the loan out in my name. And uh, while you're making out the application, I'll call up the Retail Merchants Credit Association here. <laughs> Hello? This is Bromley over the trust company. I'd like to check on the credit of uh, George Stevens. That's George Kingfish Stevens. Yes, now hold on. <laughs> yes, that's right. George Stevens, Mystic Knights of the Sea Lodge Hall. I, uh, I want to check on how he pays his bills. <laughs> oh, you've got his record right there. I see. Uh, you what? He does? Eight months? Sometimes never? <laughs> I see. He's in here right now for a loan. What would you recommend? I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Not with a ten-foot pole, huh? <laughs> I see. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Keatons, I'm very sorry, but... I... <laughs> But, Mama, it's only $250. I don't know about this, George. I don't know about loaning you no money to go in no business. But, Mama, it's a legitimate business. Well, that's what makes me pay. You ain't used to handling that kind of deal. But, Mama, we see how busy the place is. I have to admit, it sounds good to me. <laughs> well, all right. There he is, $250. Oh, thank you, Mama. Oh, you dear sweet Mama. <laughs> I got to go tell Andy the good news. Oh, Mama. <laughs> oh, Mama, I think it's wonderful of you to trust in Joyce that way. Papa, I did it for you. Well, don't you trust George, Mama? I have lived a long time, and I come to find out one thing. The only thing you can trust that wears pants is a lamb chop. <laughs> well, there you is, Andy. Oh, thank you, Amos. You is a real pal. I'll pay you back out of the property just as soon as I can. Well, I hope so, Andy, because $250 is a lot of money to me. Oh, don't worry, Amos. This thing can't miss. I'll run right over and tell the kingfish the good news. Hi. Hi. I got it from Mama. And I got it from Amos. <laughs> Anna, we are in business. We got the money. We'll be out to the diner this afternoon to sign the paper. Okay, fine. 
So you finally rented the place, huh, Sam? Yeah, just beat the deadline. No one would have given me a plug nickel for this place after the mob. <laughs> you got a lucky break, all right, Sam, because when the new highway goes through on Monday, you'll be lucky to see two cars a week on this road. Yeah. Talk about the deserted village. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Andy, we are open for business. Yeah. Play buses, do you, in about five minutes? Then we got everything spick and span. Uh, put the milk in the ice box. Well, Andy, the first thing you do, uh, turn off the grill. Yeah. <laughs> Screws happen. Well, nothing to worry about. Uh, probably just a new driver. You wouldn't think that the bus company would have 26 new drivers in one day, would you? Man, there's something going on. I think you'd better close up the place and get to the bottom of this thing. Yeah, I'd better turn the grill off here. Yeah, it's already melted $4 worth of butter. I can't understand what happened.
can meet Pat and come in. Thompson's baked goods, Higgins Poultry Farm, National Lemon Service, A1 Dairy, Electric, Gas. Yeah, Lightning, we owe everybody in town. Yeah, and in one whole week, we only took in six bucks. And we wouldn't have made that if that troop of Boy Scouts hadn't got lost. But this is a shame, fellas. I, I guess y'all are closing up the diner for good, huh? No. Lightning, we're gonna fight this thing. We done sent Al Gonwin, Jay Calhoun, over to see the Highway Commission. Yeah, we want to see if he can't do something about getting the buses back on the old route. I don't know about that, but if anybody can do it, Mr. Calhoun can do it. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a boy that's really got his eyes open. that a grave injustice has been done here. And I would like to speak to somebody who has charge of rerouting the buses. Because these two poor, hard-working men have every right... I think you'd better see Mr. Jorgens. Thank you. And I am bringing this matter to your attention, Mr. Jorgensen, in the interest of justice and fair play. Well, Mr. Brown and Mr. Stevens have my deepest sympathy. I'd like to help you in this matter, but I think you'd better take this up with Mr. Thorndike. Uh, Mr. Thorndike? Yes, I think rerouting buses is more in his line. You'll find him in room 418. Thank you, sir. And I is bringing this matter to your attention, Mr. Thorndike, in the interest of justice and fair play. Well, Mr. Calhoun, I think you have a legitimate case here. And I think the highway department should do something about this. But, of course, I couldn't make the final decision on this. If you want quick action, I think you should go around and talk to Mr. Farrell. You'll find Mr. Farrell in room 423. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Farrell, I'm bringing this matter to your attention, sir, in the interest of justice and fair play. Calhoun, I think you'd better take this up with Mr. Wilkes. Yes, sir. Room <laughs> Thank you, sir. this matter to your attention, sir, in the interest of justice and fair play. Well, you have my deepest sympathy in this matter. I'd like to help you. As a matter of fact, there was a man in my office just this morning with a similar case, and I referred him to Mr. Thorndike. You'll find him in uh, room 418. Business spend quite a bit of time at the business. Uh, Andy's taking over the shift tonight. 
Oh. Baba, did you see that item in the paper today? What item is that, Mama? The item about that stockbroker down on Wall Street. He took all his mother-in-law's money and lost it playing the market. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Why, George, what's wrong? Honey, all of a sudden, I don't feel so good. I think I'd better get a little air. Cut off the grill. 